Shout out to Trey Gonzalez for making the background music for this video. You're just gonna stand there? Thinking about it? How? How did he do that? You're telling me that in the motion of Peter jumping behind that car, he was able to take off his civilian clothes, then put on his Spider-Man boots, gloves, and mask, all before landing. Now, I know a lot of the time you guys accuse me of making videos about stupid shit, or meaningless videos that have no point, but I just want you to know, you guys have not seen me rant about stupid, meaningless garbage for a whole video until today. Spider-Man is one of those superheroes that's undeniably pretty under-equipped in terms of his costume. His costume is handmade, notorious for ripping, and it's incredibly uncomfortable sometimes. It's a spandex costume that splits down the middle, essentially becoming a muscle shirt and leggings. It's then paired with spandex socks, essentially glorified boots, spandex gloves, a mask, and sometimes made into a hood so Peter doesn't have to carry around his mask with him. A standard Spider-Man suit is made of these seven pieces. Peter typically wears most of these under his normal clothes, leaving out the gloves and mask. So you think that Peter doing a quick change somehow sounds more plausible now. But sometimes his normal clothes are bullshit. Look at this man in his little polo shirt. There's no Spider-Man suit under there. And even if he was wearing his leggings under, he has a belt on, which makes this process much longer. But sometimes, he wears clothes that make it look super easy to take on and off. In Spectacular Spider-Man, Peter wears super baggy brown pants and shoes that slip off easily. He also managed to jump off of Harry Osborn's balcony and changed into his suit before he hit the ground. How does Spider-Man change so fast. If Oscorp was about a thousand feet tall, and that's being generous, Peter has a total of nine seconds to change before he needs to take a minimum of one second to shoot a web before he hits the ground. This little blue area, that's the one second that Peter needs to react with him. He has 10 seconds after jumping off of Oscorp before he hits the ground. You know what? I'm a Spider-Man suit wearer. I can gauge whether a 9 second suit change is possible, and I have a 7 piece Spider-Man suit. You know what? I'm gonna time how quick I can change from normal clothes into my Spider-Man suit while wearing a similar outfit the Spectacular Peter was wearing. I don't know how good the audio quality is gonna be in this section. I am sorry. I have the outfit here. Um, I have a sweater. This is like standard Peter Parker fare. I'm gonna throw it on, but I know I know one problem I'm gonna encounter already. Look at how big the neck on this suit comes up. Also, this suit was designed by Spider Pleb. Uh, he makes patterns, he does all kinds of cool stuff, and I'm gonna put his information over here. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw on the sweater. You see the problem has already presented itself. I am not wearing a fancy, under the shirt turtleneck, I'm fucking Spider-Man. I have the baggy, the baggy pants. Here we go. Okay. So we have, we have half the fit. We have half the fit assembled. I need to get on a pair of shoes. But I think the more I, I'm pretty sure I remember Spectacular Peter wearing socks. I don't, I don't want to put on socks and take those off on camera. I don't want to do that on camera. That's your fault. So Spectacular Peter Parker also had himself a little satchel. Obviously the target time, because what I'm doing is I'm going to be changing out of this and trying to do it in under 9 seconds. Am I going to do this multiple times over and over again? No, I'm not. Uh, but we're going to see how fast I can do this. I'm also assuming that Peter, uh, Peter Parker from Spectacular Spider-Man put all of his extra items in his satchel at all times. He takes the shoes off before he jumps, I think. He does. Okay. He takes the shoes off before he jumps. We're good. Okay. Okay. I have to think down the strategy. I think the strategy is shirt. No. I'm going to give myself a stool while I do this. I'm get, I, I get the free stool advantage. We have no chance. Okay. What? Go.
done. I'm fully suited up. That was definitely not under nine seconds. Huh. I really missed the mark on that one. So if I can't do it after nine years of spider manning what am I missing? Those damn superpowers. So there's always been this one part of Spider-Man's powers that I think is kind of bullshit. Spider-Man literally has super speed. He's always been able to move at fast speeds with an even faster reaction time to match, but Spider-Man being able to move at nearly Mach 2 should not be a thing. In this page, he moves two miles in five seconds. What? That should not be a thing. Ha! Huh. Some of you from the Batman video wouldn't have ever thought I'd do the same thing for Peter that I do for Batman. It's bullshit that Batman can win against someone like the Flash, just like it's bullshit that Spider-Man can travel at Mach 2. I guess Peter just puts on his suit and super speed. Damn. That's kind of a lame answer. This is the trailer for Trey Gonzalez's fan film, Peter Parker One Night Only. Or is it Spider-Man One Night Only? I can't remember. All I know is that it's got a pretty spiffy rendition of the Ultimate Wrestler suit, and I'm super excited to see where he goes with it. You never really see a lot of fan films this targeted towards Spider-Man's origin story, and I'm excited to see what he does with it. He's got pretty cool costume designers working on this. I don't know if it's just him and somebody else, but from what I've seen on this like film behind the scenes, I love it, and I can't wait to see the rest of the classic suit. I think he's doing a great job, and he made the music in this video. Well, some of it. He made some of the music in this video, and he did a really great job. He's a real talented guy, and you should go check out his YouTube channel in the description, which has the full trailer for Peter Parker, One Night Only. Thank you all so much for watching, and go tr check out Trey Gonzalez.